Just as we can add displacement vectors and velocity vectors, we can also add force vectors. For example, suppose that we have a, a mass here, some object, and we're pulling on it, and there are two forces pulling on it. Let's suppose it's being pulled with a force of four newtons to the right and a force of three newtons up. Well, the overall effect of both of those forces together would be a force that looked something like this. You can draw in some dotted lines here to make a perfect rectangle and then go from this point over to the opposite corner. And we'll call that F. Now, we can actually apply the Pythagorean theorem here. You can see that this is 4 and you should be able to see that if we've drawn a rectangle here, if this side is 3, then this side over here is 3. So I'll write a, a 3 over there. And then if we look at this triangle, you can probably tell that the hypotenuse is 5 because we have, that's 5 newtons. You could say this F is equal to Five newtons. That's because we have a three, four, five triangle. If you can't, if you don't see that, just work it out. Call the hypotenuse h, and do the math. H squared is going to be three squared plus four squared, which is nine plus sixteen, and nine plus sixteen is twenty-five. So h squared is twenty-five. So h is the square root of twenty-five, which is five. Now take note, that's the result, this, this force of 5 newtons in this direction is the result of adding these two forces. That's the result of having the 4 newtons to the right and the 3 newtons up together. And this should make sense. You could think of this as a diagram drawn as a top view. So here's your mass and then you've got one guy pulling on it this way. Maybe he's got a rope and he's grabbed hold and he's pulling and um, and so this is kind of like we're looking down on this mass and this other guy has a rope and he's pulling this way so there's one guy pulling that way and one guy pulling that way which way is it going to move so again think of this as a top view well if one guy's pulling to the right and one guy's pulling up in our diagram the overall effect would be to make it move this way the total force would be represented by this vector instead of the two the other two so again don't don't think of this as three vectors think of this as two vectors the three newton force and the four newton force and those two vectors combined have the same effect as this five newton force in this direction so you could think of either the three and the four newton forces acting together or this 5 newton force acting in this direction. This 5 newton force in this direction is the vector sum of the 3 and the 4 newton force. So that vector by itself is equivalent to the other two together. Just like saying 2 plus 4 equals 6, the 6 is equivalent to the 2 and 4 together. If we add 4 newtons to the right and 3 newtons up, that's equivalent to having 5 newtons in this direction. Note that 3 plus 4 is not equal to 5, but 3 newtons up and 4 newtons to the right is equivalent to 5 newtons in this direction. Adding vectors is done always taking the direction into account.